It's time to get back to our roots. Bloody roots. Uh, that's a pretty cool combo deck here. I stole it from Real John Ramos 3 on Twitter. Playing some Timeless. And we got double combos on the dollars. So you have Insidious Roots here. And Insidious Roots, of course, is a uh, fun, I guess, somewhat new card from Murders of Karloff Manor. Uh, where every time a card leaves your graveyard, you get to make a token and grow all of your tokens. They tap for mana. Pretty cool. So what we have here is a, a Roots combo deck, right? So we have a, a, a few things going on. We've got Witch's Oven and Cauldron Familiar, which is a pretty, uh, you know, pretty familiar pairing of cards. And, uh, of course, every time you oven, you get a, a, a plant token. That's pretty cool. But even cooler is Samwise Gamgee. Tomatoes, sausages, nice crispy bacon. And uh, Samwise here, with a sack out in play, you can play Familiar, get a food, sack the Familiar, sack the food, get the Familiar back, get a food, ad nauseum, and that will give us infinite uh, plant or infinite sized plants as well, which is pretty sweet too. And uh, Bartholomew is just a fine card. Sock Outlet can grow, kind of cool. Obviously playing Bowmasters, Deathrite Chom, and Halflings are playing Timeless. Once Upon a Time, really good here also. Quarter Calling, really good here also. And we get to be a Lurus deck because Lurus is the only, uh, this is like the only form that Lurus is actually legal in. So uh, there's Lurus and a couple Kalani Gardens for your Quarter Callings and some Fetch Lands. You get the idea. There's a Wild Growth Walker Amalia combo in the board. I don't really know what, like, one you'd bring this in. I guess against Graveyard Hate, it kind of makes kind of sense. It's pretty cool, but looks cool. And let's uh, give it a spin and try it and see what we can do. Brought to you by March Foil Madness, CoolStuffInc.com. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Also, I want to remind you all about Commander Night happening Saturday. That's right, Saturday. And uh, YouTube folks, I guess this might have passed for you already. I don't know when it's going to go up. But every second Saturday, we do, we do Commander Night. It's a lot of fun. Four in the afternoon to midnight, we fire off a bunch of pods, free to play, play on Spell Table. You can play on Moxfeo with no deck. You can just like load your deck and, and play it with an emulator, which is cool as well. And uh, we do door prizes, it's a lot of fun. Commander Night, every second Saturday. Check it out. Let's go! Check them out, man. All right, so we got Familiar, Samwise, Bartholomew. This is the combo, right? We should the whole thing here. Uh, sure, we'll keep this. Um, we're just gonna hold. We'll just go turn one, tap land, turn two, Samwise, turn three, familiar, Bartholomew. I can't do that, actually, because the, the garden will not allow me to cast both of these, so. Never mind, we're gonna keep, obviously. Obviously, if they have any interaction, uh, we get screwed up here, but, like, I think it's still fine. Once upon a time, there was a streamer named Jim, and he really appreciated it when his viewers liked his videos. Hit the like button, sports content, thank you. We draw a Witch's Oven, awesome. Um, here's a Halfling. So... Probably just like Oven first. Sure. Let's just Goblin Shrine Oven go. Maybe they're playing one of them? We just played, we just played, a, played a Winona deck. It's pretty good. Nope, Blood Artist is a Yagmoth deck. Once upon a time. Alright, so... I think we just play Sam. And then try and win next turn. We could play but Bartholomew. It looks a little less threatening, maybe. Um, let's play Samwise. Samwise the Brave. I want to hear more about Sam. The Sprack, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Welcome to the Pile Drivers. You're great. Um, we got to get a land that can cast these two. So we need a black land. Play Samwise the Brave. Just say go. Blood Artist. Um, that actually does counter our combo. That's true. Yeah, that's a... That's an issue. But I can make... Lose one and gain one. I guess I can gain infinite life. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, never mind. So yeah, it actually just completely negates the combo. It's pretty funny. All right, that's awkward. Um, we can have an infinite size Bartholomew, but they're gonna get a hedge mage. What is going on? All right, I lost. 
I don't know what's happening anymore. Hedge Mage, Overgrown Tomb, Halfling, Blood Artist. Another Halfling. And a main deck, Malevolent Hermit. Okay. I am completely lost. Completely lost. And again, now the problem is we have our combo, but the Blood Artist just negates it. So we have, uh, we can have, we love it, love an infinite size Bartholomew. Um, which I guess we'll do, like, all right, just fetch. Just go swamp. Find some food. And now, again, I can sack from Cauldron Familiar infinite times and make it infinite, infinite. This would be a lot of clicks, but sure, all right. So yeah, Blood Artist uh, negates our combo, like directly. They have, they have to target manually every time, oh my god. All right, folks, buckle up. Still obviously worth it to have an infinite sized creature, but the Sprack from California for card is Sulphur Springs from Ice Age. Cool. Love it. Welcome to Twilight Zone. The fact that I can't audio the freaking thing is really annoying. So we need to find a way to remove Blood Artist. Uh, we also we have Bowmash in our deck too. So like, realistically, we just can tap once upon a time for a Bowmaster next turn. I guess we'll make this a, into it so it has at least twenty power to stop there. And in paper, it would be an infinite size creature, but I need, a fast, I need a fast forward button here. I should tell a story while we're doing this. Uh, who wants to hear a story? Three speckled frogs sat on a speckled log. It's a deep cut. That's the story I read to my kid in the bath every night. Eating the malicious scrub, yum, yum. One jumps in the pool where it is nice and cool and there were just two speckled frogs on the log. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the malicious scrub, yum, yum. One jumped in the pool. Am I an idiot? Can I just, can I kill them in response to the, uh, the triggers? Nicole understood that reference. No, I can't. Alright, never mind. Uh, I can kill him, but am I just an idiot? I'm just so dumb. I'm just like, I'm so stupid. I just didn't even think about how the stack works. I just like, all right, yeah, we're doing the thing or whatever. Obviously, we can just keep doing it on top of their, but they stack and we just kill them. So our opponent's just like this freaking moron, -ish, and then we and then we kill them, obviously. So hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream. We won anyway. So opponent is playing maybe Yagmoth with Oko. Um, how embarrassing! All right, so. Do I want to bring in some fatal pushes, maybe? Um, I don't know, honestly. The deck's so tight. We probably need to bring a few, a few fatal pushes, right? Bring in, like, push, push. I'm going to shave. And they could have, like, some kind of graveyard hate, obviously. They don't seem like they have much removal, so maybe we could shave a Bartholomew. I have no freaking idea, honestly. Should I be an oven? Doesn't seem crazy either. I don't think that familiar is like just like a, a fair familiar loops right against them. I have no idea what to cut, folks. I have, I have not not an idea in the world. Um, I'm gonna shave a once upon a time and a bowmaster. Call it a day. All right. Um, this end a little worse than our last time. I think it's still key, probably. Let the roots. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, let's try this high. Fetchland. Kalani Garden, oh yeah? Oh yeah? I'll just show you Kalani Garden. This card's dope. Loops. Bloody loops. That's gonna be the name of the, uh, the video. You just, you just named it. Thanks, though. Appreciate it. Alright, so we draw our roots. Uh, yeah, I mean, like... Our hand's not great here. It's definitely on the slow side, but... We're gonna get a Godless Shrine. Do we Bowmaster Innkeeper? Playing roots is, like... Doesn't do anything right now. Probably play Master Samwise, right? Should I got a green lamp for quarter calling, maybe? Maybe. Killing the innkeeper is, like, good against their cords. Let's play Sam. I want to hear more about Sam. Young Wolf. Alright, yeah. Definitely Yag Moth Yag. Draw another non land. They have cord for two up. Oh, I wish I could have killed this innkeeper, keep their cords down, I think. Play ball master. Like this. Make a food. Let's find some food. Core calling X equals one. Shaman, sure. It's cute that uh, if I play the roots next turn, I have it's like mana neutral because I have two tokens in play. And they'll both be able to tap for mana, which is kind of gas actually. So they're about to cast the Yagmoth though, so that's bad for us. All right, so here's the Yagmoth. Um, we draw Court of Calling. That's kind of awesome actually. Um, Wow, what do we do? Um, we can cord for cord for cauldron familiar. The problem is that like cord, this is mana neutral, but not for cord because cord can tap creatures anyway. So like, the thing is they have Yai Moth, but does massacre all my creatures next turn. Kind of sucks. Um, we have an oven. We could also play oven and just cord for cord for the thing the, the the cat oh man uh there's a right player I, I don't know what it is honestly i want to get the roots in play too but like maybe i just roots i got like roots roots is that crazy and set up for cord for thingy next turn Samwise, Halfling. Oven Court for Cat. They have a Yagmoth in play. They should kill my stuff. Like, um, Resolves. So, like, I can just play Halfling and then Oven. Let's do that. Let's put as much stuff in play as possible and set up for Court next turn. And now if they kill something with this, I get to fizzle the first draw and make a mega food, which is kind of cool as well. So. so we just say go. I mean, like, we're really, really well set up. What's up, man? Thanks, Teresa. So they're going to try and kill my Bowmaster. Uh, so we'll stack in response. This denies them a draw and gives me a food, which is pretty cool. food and now we just want to go into our turn with like not zero creatures in play which might not happen actually because yeah, I'm not so busted but sack that target Sam and untap so why do it on your end step I don't know whatever Shake it, 
the halfling. One mana draw card, minus a counter is pretty good. They're going to attack, no problem. We have second Sam and Cords. They let us untap, and we just draw Cauldron Familiar. That's pretty gas. So, honestly, if I just play a second Roots, like... Yeah. Let me just start me make a, a bunch of huge... Yeah, let's try this. Play, play Roots. Let's see what happens. I, like, completely thought this through, but... All right. And then we just cast a Familiar. They kill Sam in response. Um, then I get to make a, a plant... Like two plants that can core up plants. I oh, think we're good here, yeah. Okay, drain for one. Um, we could cast Sam also. They would just kill it again. And that hurts my ability to cord. I tap two, cast Sam. But then I get to hold her familiar. I get two plants, then I can't cord them. One short of cording. Um, this is hard. <laughs> I think we're in good shape, though. They have stacked, they have, they have stacked two, 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 two things to kill, but also it's pretty good, too. Let's just cast Sam one. Confounded old Samwise Gamgee. This deck's kind of gas. They let it resolve. Cool. Um, I mean, sack the cauldron familiar, make a food. They're definitely on it. So maybe I should have done this first, actually. I should have sacked the familiar... Then played Sam. So as soon as Sam resolves, this is the graveyard. Yeah, that's just not what matters, honestly. But all right, let's call it familiar. I guess we're on the rope here. Maybe I need to be careful. We're calling X equals one. I was do a response again. So make food, make tokens, and then I can cord for, I can only cord for one. Damn it. Um, I don't know if this is right or not, folks. I, I, I'm just like, the rope's going, I'm taking game actions. Uh, yeah, just get a cat. And like, I think we're in good shape. I mean, they cord for a, a wolf here. They can kill some stuff. But, like, I don't know if they can beat Call of Familiar with the Roots in play. Like, we're just going to make a million plants. Unless they, unless they actually combo me. Um, which is possible, obviously. But... Here's a Hedge Maze. Sam can sack three foods to return a historic card. Do I want to return a Sam? It's not yet, I guess. Let's let that happen. I want to hear more about Sam. Uh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, okay. So they have Artist and one Undying Creature. All they need is one more Undying Creature or Cord and we're dead. Alright, now I can F6 at least, so. Alright, so we're pretty close to death, but whatever. Let's see what happens. Oh, sick! I completely missed that. The returning of Sam made tokens. So actually, I punted. I could have won last turn. So it was, I could have used Sam to return Sam, made more tokens, and, had, and then courted for Bartholomew. And probably won. All right. Damn, this is a hard deck to play.
Let's see if we lose or not. Get an army of plants with different art, which is fun. Thirteen. Death Rite Shaman is not it. They gotta find a Court of Calling or another Young Wolf. If they do, we're dead. Yeah, this deck's uh, this deck's deep. Pioneer question, why are strong standard decks like Domain non-competitive there? Why would it be competitive? Right? It's just a much more powerful format, you know? Domain's a fairly slow deck. Power level difference is just too high. Ah, oh, I found it! They found it. Alright, they got it. So, now we have to stack these infinitely, and we have to play, so we're dead. Alright, game three. No worries. I feel like I could have won this game, so it's what's on me. I just did I just didn't fully understand the the scope of what I was doing. Um Alright, so I do want these pushes. Bowmaster. I mean, four half four shaman and four halfling. Not many things actually die to Bowmaster, so it's not that good against them. I guess it's good against the Agmoth in particular. I'd probably leave these in. Put this back in. Uh I feel like oven's a little slow against them. I'm shaving oven. Let's try this. I'll play. Uh, keep. Once upon a time. Yeah, deck like domain is a pretty limiting factor of just like it's just only so fast ever, you know, because of the, how the lands work. So like, the fastest format is just unplayable, you know. Bartholomew or Sam. It's Sam, right? Alright. Let's play uh, Death Rite Shaman and see. Go. We got Luris too, so we're a little flooded here, but we can make it work. Hey, Once Upon a Time is so good in these decks. It's actually just unreal. Here's a Bowmaster for uh, their Once Upon a Time, which is fine. It's not very good against us. Thoughtsies. Sure. We draw a Bowmaster. Okay. Um, I mean, I just buy Luris, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's by Luris. Give me that. Buy Luris. There you go. Luris is so good, too. You forget how dumb Luris is. She's like, whoo, boy, this card. Set up for turn five, Luris plus Sam, probably. All right, so they have a Bowmaster up. We're going to have the same. We just say go. They Bowmaster, we should Bowmaster back. All right, so... Yeah, just gonna keep on rolling here, I guess. We have Luris next turn for Sam. We have Court of Calling also. I guess we lack the green mana to cast Cord too, which kinda sucks, but. Alright, crack this, and we'll get a. Uh... Well, I don't wanna exile. I wanna do some damage to them? Probably, right? Let's just get a, a White Land, sure. Shock. Goodbye. I mean, like, they've got something here, but we're just pretty happy to cast Sam, I think. That's right, Shaman is pretty good. F and Stefan, you, 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 all right? So here's Luris. Here's Sam. I want to hear more about Sam. 
And then, let me just say go. I don't think it's worth trading orcs. They can have another bowmaster here. Yeah, just say go. Sure. So, like, if I attack, it's bad. They kill the bowmaster, which is fine. We need to draw uh, something here, but... I also have Lurus in play, too, so... That bowman's is coming right back once they kill the Lurus. Wow. They're going to let me have the Bowmasters? How kind. Aww. How kind. That was a bad tap. I shouldn't tap the green. Bowmaster resolves. Make a food. They're going to shoot the Lurus. Uh, that's going to resolve. I will get a Bowmaster trigger, and I will shoot... I guess just them, right? Because, like, there's just that anyway, so... Shoot them. Um. Okay, so I have... I can obviously cord... But, like, what can I even cord for profitably? I don't have a sock outlet. Um, getting Bartholomew. Bartholomew is pretty good, actually, to cord. If I get Bartholomew in response to a Yagmoth activation, I, can, I like that a lot, actually. So, green, green, green. And then two. It's funny. If I cast Halfling and they do it in response so I can't cord, it's actually kind of devastating, but I don't think they're going to do that. So, cast Halfling. Resolves. I'm gonna play this tap, so you go. Let's say go. If they go to sack, I mean, they shouldn't do this end step, but they're going to. Yeah, our opponent's like, you know, not the tightest, but they can just do this. On, just do, do, draw your card and do this on your turn, obviously. But we're gonna cord. Uh, we're gonna cord for two. Oops. And we're gonna tap green, 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 you, you. Get Bartholomew. Make a food. Sack the Lurus. They don't draw a card. And uh, now we have Samwise to get Lurus back. Wow! Samwise to get Lurus back? Holy moly, that's awesome. This deck's kind of gas. Here's a Bowmaster, sure. We'll just sack this. I think we're just like gonna beat them fair. Death Red Shaman, whatever. Lurus got Sam back. Sam's gonna return the favor and get Lurus back. We draw an oven. Okay. So we can just get back Lurus, get back Bowmasters. I kind of want to guess once upon a time, honestly. Let's just start there. All right, we find another Bowmaster for the Bartholomew or a Deathrite Shaman. Let's get Bowmaster, I guess. All right, so let's... Yeah, uh, I can't carry it, but I can carry it for you. No! I can't carry it. God damn it. <laughs> I, was, I didn't sleep much last night, folks, all right? Um, Lurus Mana. Brain somewhat melted, but still gone. Uh, opponent's playing Lurus also. Well, Sand's fine. I'll keep this. Have you seen the Fallout trailer? I have not, no. I know effectively nothing about Fallout, so. Oh my god. 
We're in the freaking sands. We're in the sands, folks. Watch out. All right, it's Dragon Ball Channeler, Blood Crypts. Um, I mean, I'm gonna try and play a half lane, I guess. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not play it, so. Kuznetsov uh, left the Capitals? He was waived. He was put on waivers like last week. Like, and, and passed waivers. But it makes sense. It's like his contract's like $9 million or whatever. And he just isn't that good anymore. But. So goodbye, Sam. I cannot believe they haven't fixed this board yet. Like. I'm all about some ambiance, alright? I appreciate aesthetics, ambiance, and stuff. But this is ridiculous. Alright, their hand is just a stone, so. I literally can't even see their graveyard. <laughs> Literally can't even see it. Might as well not be there. They draw insidious roots. All right, we got a long way to go here, folks. But um, I think we're in mondo trouble. But roots go. So like, yeah, I'm not sure. Take three. Like, just take this board out of, out of, the, out of the rotation so you fix it, you know? I get that it, it, it takes man hours to fix things, you know? But just, like, take this one out. Like, just get it out of here. Oh, yeah, that card. Well, that's weird because I cast Cruiser with no graveyard. It's just, like, really, really weird that they can be able to do that, you know? Just, like, a strange, waka, waka. strange thing. Oh, my God. Look, look at this. Bobble. DRC lost flying. Oh, now it's back up above the sand again. All right, now we're in the we're in the sky over the sand. Good to go. Death Shadow. And uh, we draw a third Bartholomew. That's not very good. I think we're in some doo-doo, folks. This opponent interacting a lot more than our last opponent, that's for sure. Thought seizes and fatal pushes and... Oh my god, stop. That's my hand's bad anyway, but... Death Shadow? Nice disguise, by the way. Take the oven. Yeah, our hand's terrible. Oh my god. Alright, so we're gonna jump block. The Bartholomew. Just take five in our hand anyway. I don't see if we have any. I don't know what we can even do here. We should have, like, these thoughts is all our important guards. So we should have nothing. My plant! Don't kill my plant! No! It's my friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I think we're just dead, but you know. Oh man! Woo. That card's that card's good too. Wow, jeez. All right, so they've been the E. I mean, there's no way we we, we should work like that. How close is Timeless to having a legacy level goblin deck? Not even remotely close. Uh, no Aether Vial, no Name Sticker Goblin, no Mux. Oh, there's Mux, I'm sorry. No Ancient Tomb, no. Uh, yeah, not even close. No Wasteland, no Port. Alright, so opponents playing Death Shadow. We're going to want uh, a few Fatal Pushes. Goblin Lackey, yeah. Um, what do we cut? Like, redundant Bartholomews do seem kind of rough. Let me shave one of those, maybe. And then, like, shave Manador, maybe? I mean, let me, let me, let me lens this. 20, 20 lands? Jeez. I'll shave a halfling. All right, let's try this. I want to see mountains again, beyond Gandalf. Mountains! And no one drop again? Uh, I mean, like... Our hand's like kind of thought sees proof. We have a bunch of good twos. Just gonna keep this. All right, and we'll just fetch up a. Uh, let's play the stats. So yeah, fetch swamp even maybe, maybe not. But oh yeah, you're a Lord of the Rings fan. Name one ring. <laughs> All right, Death Right Shaman's here. Uh, we got Kalani Garden.
like do we just resolve roots probably uh, uh lord of the ring nerd in chat three rings have been named are there names for the the nine rings for mortal men are those names I know the elf rings are named, but here's a brainstorm. I had a bowmasters, but <sighs> actually, Nicole says they have names. Nicole loses her nerd card. All right, so they have a bowmaster. We're just gonna have the garden, I guess. I don't even know. Death. Oh, Death. Shaman's awesome with roots too. Wow. Um, okay, so we just like cast Death Right Shaman and say go, I guess. Leave up Bowmaster. I don't know why I'm cracking this fetch land. I didn't sleep much last night, folks. Yeah, if I play Sam, I should kill response, so. The seven and the nine don't have done of stated names. Right, I, 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 somewhere in some dusty book in, uh, in, in the Tolkien estate are the names for the seven rings, for sure, and the nine rings. Here's a delta. Like, how does Tolkien not name stuff? You know, Tolkien loves that shit. <laughs> like, the Cimmerillion is just names. That's all it is. It just, 4,000 pages of names. All right, so we're going to Bowmaster, we'll Bowmaster back. This is a pretty bad Bowmaster for them, honestly, so. Don't want to blink first in a Bowmaster fight. 15, 15, we have Cord and Samwise. Shaman's dead. Yes, there you go. All right, so like, we're lacking in green sources. I, I should have fetched a duel probably. I think I screwed up. Green, green, green. So let's play this. I'm just gonna play this since I go. Just have cord up. So I have cord for three, which is obviously too much. Um, I could also just buy Lurus, which actually isn't bad. Um, I was faster mana too, actually. I forgot. So I could actually sand and, and buy Lurus, but yeah, I was a buy Lurus. So go. Hopefully no thoughts these, but buy Lurus and just say go. Yeah, it's so weird that, like, so Tolkien's so big on names. Everything has a name. And then he decides to name the two primary antagonists of the movie Sauron and Saruman. When I read Lord of the Rings when I was, like, you know, 13 in high school or whatever, literally didn't know that Saruman and Sauron were different characters till the end of Fellowship. I read an entire book and didn't know. Like, so you got Bolt on the Bowmaster, which is a good exchange. Exile the bolt deal too, sure. Bobble, sure. I mean, this is like pretty good for us, right? We actually have seven mana next turn if we want it. Like, how do you do that? It's like Darth Vader and Barf Vader, you know? Like, what are, what are you doing? Here's a draw. They can have a counter spell, I guess. Hmm. You're just like Sam. Half lane, make a food. I can core response too. Let's play Sam. They counter it, whatever, it's fine too. Alright, play, I play half lane. But once I play the half lane, then, then cord goes down. They just kill Sam in response. Oh man. Oh, no, it doesn't. I have. Oh, this has to read. Oh, awesome. We're good. Never mind. So. A sneaky cord because my orc tap literally taps for green. That resolves also. Wow, make food. What? What? What's going on? It's getting so dusty here. I guess we have neither player has any idea what's going on. So, uh, I, mean, I don't have a sack outlet, but they just like lure us back. A death right shaman.
This would give us a, a Roots token as well. Drown him a lock. Sure. That sucks, but fine. Uh... All right, let's just say yeah. Sand actually just Dorito dust. Yep. What about elevensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, supper. Crack fetch. Shock. They have their own Luris too, so play Shadow. Definitely a Shadow and a Luris. Okay. So I can cord for. Ah, that's that. That's a combo. There, there's that. Barring a removal spell in hand. So we just cord for uh, Bartholomew and then cord for a thing and just kill them. Cool. All right. So let's go. Cord of Calling X equals two. Yeah, nice empty graveyard here. They beat up, I guess, but I may have one card left. If it's a, you know, is it? Are you serious? His last card's a drama lock. Unbelievable. All right. Well, I have cord for one. Oh, it's Aether Gust. Let's cord in response, so we, we make sure we draw the cord next. So let's just cord for one and get a get a uh, thing. Court for one. We'll get a uh, a cat. Play it. Make a food. Put this on top. Just say go. Block. Bring it back. And then the game's over now. Barring like a a team or battle rage, something like that. Make a little noise here, huh? Keep Mulligan, Flusterstorm in Historic. Um, I think that card would be fine and timeless, but in Historic, it's like a really weird convoluted card. I don't know. Oh. Oh. What, counter silver timeless? I don't know. Do you going to go timeless, you know? Is it going to be Force of Will? I don't know. I mean, here's Luris, but I don't think that matters. The game's over, right? I think Forest Negations... It's funny, I, I hate most of the pitch spells for the Modern Horizon sets... But I think Force Negation is perfect. I think it's like the perfect, uh, the perfect uh, one. So, so I block with the familiar, and then I just go to my turn, and then put a creature in play with Samwise. Have a third food. We're good to go. They're not even going to attack. All right, sure. So untap and draw the cord. Very lucky. And then we're gonna cord for two. MH3 puts actual Force of Will into Modern. Honestly, whatever. Modern just legacy at this point anyway, so. All right, so let's get Bartholomew. Get a food. Game. That's what I'm talking about. Blouse. Game three, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, no changes, let's go. I mean, we do have one spot of time in our hand, but they're on the play with the Thoughtseize, so. I mean, is keeping this hand crazy? They mulliganed? We obviously one spot of time for a land in response to a Thoughtseize. They can't Thoughtseize the land, so like. What do you think, chat? Keep her mulligan. Halfling can't cast Insidious Roots. 
So they thought sees the death right shaman. It's pretty bad. Chess is content keep. All right, sure, I'm keeping. But Mall gets six. Fluted Strand. Death Rite Shaman. All right, here we go, folks. Nope. Five cards. They have their own Shaman, which can which can nerf my Shaman. That kind of sucks, but um. They fetch two. Sure. It's gonna fetch land. Fire up Death Right Shaman number one. Obviously we'd love it if it's lived. They can use their shaman to eat my land in response, but thought seize, sure. That's what I got. It's my hand. May not be a good hand, but it is my hand. Would I ever want a historic PT? I mean, I played in one. I top eighted it, but um, I like historic being a Brewers format. So, like, I don't think it needs to be a Pro Tour format kind of thing. But all right, so they take a Shaman, play a Fetch Land, eat my land, make a black, have Fatal Push. Bingo! All right. Okay, so I think I wanted to go double halfling here. Next turn, go Bartholomew into Roots. They got two guards left. No clock. Mishra's Booble. Hide it the whole time. Crack the fetch. Shock. That's pretty good. That's probably the best card to have in this current situation. That's fine. We're going to keep battling here. Alright. They have a 3-3 three, three Death's Shadow. One card in hand, one mana up. Make that two cards in hand. I draw an oven. Uh, so, like, do I play Bartholomew first to resolve an oven? I'm just going to play these things. Yeah, just play Roots, play Bartholomew, so you go. Obviously, drawing a cord or a cat would be ideal. They have a shaman for the cat, though, which is kind of annoying. Oh, look who's here. Hi, Karn. Aww. Take five. Comes out of the shadows to deal the damage, too. My turn? Not buying Lurus. Is there a land in the graveyard? There is. They have five mana for just saying go. It's so weird. Because they can put a bought Lurus and drown up. Don't like that. We draw a land. Alright. I mean, we're going to cast an oven. Okay. Just going to buy Lurus and. Play lands, there you go. Bartholomew probably has to block here. Which is fine, I think. Eat once upon a time, I'm at eight. The no buy on Lurus is kind of weird, but... Yeah. All right. 
I mean, their hand's got to be, like, almost perfect at this point. So we're dead to our belt. Alright, All right, you got me, I guess. Actually, no, I could sack... Nope, yeah, I'm dead. I could sack everything. It's like Halfling, Halfling, and Witch's Oven, and then Stump Block. But I don't know how we ever actually win that game. I guess we had to do it, right? So let's just do... Uh, let's just do that. So... Sack. 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 Bolt me again. Come on, just kill me. Why won't you die? That seemed pretty tough. They have a lot of interaction. Uh, that seemed like a difficult one. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Sounds fun. We got Shaman. Samwise Familiar. Sounds pretty good, actually. Keep this. Botanical Sanctum Go. Wow, okay. Once upon a time, there was. And Orcish Bowmasters. Just gonna Overgrown Tomb. Gonna conceal it with a fetch land. So there you go. Botanical Sanctum Go. What deck plays Botanical Sanctum Go? There's a Brainstorm. Okay. Uh... I mean, we're just going to play Samwise and Calder Familiar, right? Like. How about a green mana? Samwise, the Brave. Cauldron Familiar. Make a food. Show and tell, and it could be show and tell, I guess, but. Show and tell seems pretty good against us. Yeah, it's looking a little more likely now. We don't really interact that well with them, and. I mean, if we had the combo in Heron, we could put it in, but. No stern scoldings, thankfully. Fool of a Nope, it's just Tarmogoyf for it, folks. Just the good old classic Tarmogoyf. Nothing else to see here. All right, so we're going to go... I mean... Shock. Halfling, go. Just an honest Tarmogoyf player. We could just buy Lurus here, honestly. But I think leaving out Bowmaster is better. Bowmaster and the activation on Shaman, so just take it. No companion either, so no Lurus or no Gigantha. Just stone nothing. I mean, I don't want to be the first one to play Bowmaster. So, just eat a card in the graveyard, right? What do they got in here? They got a Brainstorm. These people be sick of being a Snapcaster Mage. Actually, no, actually, no, no, what? Because I can't cast the Bowmaster, so. Alright, take some damage, sure. Another Bowmaster. Uh, yeah, I mean. Bylurus, just to say go. What are you up to, friend? Fatal push the death right shaman. Uh, all right. Let's 
Gonna exile one of these and uh, make a man I don't use. They really haven't done much. Um, cast brainstorm, please. We need Jace the Mind Sculptor on a on arena. Oh, he's back. My card. It's not play Bowmaster. They have their own Bowmaster to kill it. Whatever. We have Luris and stuff. So target you. Get a food. that? Holy moly, there's so many Bowmasters. Alright, so... Chiwango, good games, my friend. Um, They're just literally not doing anything. It's really, really kind of bugging me. Send in the Orc. Send in the Orc army. I should send this guy in too, actually. I'm just going to come back anyway, so... Let's stack. Love the graphics. Bowmasters. Shoot Armagoyf. Bowmaster, shoot Armagoyf. Is the plan. So many Bowmasters. Snapcaster Mage. This one's going to shoot the Snapcaster Mage, right? Because, like... It'll still be a 3-3 three, three anyway. Yeah, sure. I feel like we're not doing anything and we're just obliterating our opponent. Like... I don't get it. I don't know what's going on, folks. We got a lot of food. Um, now we got Luris, too. Hopefully their hand's just all brainstorms. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Alright, let's just cast Luris. Oh, I, I should use the halfling. That's just stupid. Whatever. Whatever. My fault, obviously. I just didn't. I just kind of like didn't even look at the auto tap. Uh, Alright, so... Let me just say go, I guess. That was very bad. Very, very bad. Good job, Bartholomew. How about more Sams? Alright, let's, let's try to get this turn, right? So, Sam back. Sack some foods. Do it right this time. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. That's kind of gross that the food trigger gives them priority to kill Lurus before he can cast a spell, but Snapcaster made sure. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. That, that, that's great. I feel like they're playing Magic in the year 2011. Um, like... Tarmor, go ahead, Snapcaster Mage, Counterspell. We're playing Magic in 2024, so all our cards are stupidly good. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. That's a 2024 card. Uro, Bowmasters. Oh, you get three triggers. There's one here. One face, one face. I mean... Aww. What will we ever do? We've lost our Lurus. How can we ever... Uh, that works too, I guess. I was going to get Lurus back, but this is fine too. We'll just kill them. How about Bartholomew? Make a food. Sack Calder. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. All right. Game. I was totally happy Blouses. just getting back to Lurus and doing that. Let's try the Amalia combo. So let's bring in, um, if they're just like a fair Sultai mid-range deck. Um, a board out. This might not be correct, but, like, it's our last match. I kind of show how I try it. Uh, we board out, like, three of these. We still have a cord. One, one to cord for. And then bring in, like, the Amalias, the Wild Growth Walkers. 
and then shave like maybe a Sam or two. Uh, shave a familiar or two also. Oh, oops. Good catch. That would have been embarrassing. Um, sure. Let's try this. Alright. Uh, this is a hand. A bit of Oko, sure. So we're just going to go get a... Uh, do a little halfling action. i play the oven first, maybe. I might better play oven first, actually. Yeah, we had a really fun quarterfinals at the, at the PT where uh, there were multiple draws in the top four. It's actually hilarious because uh, so it, was, it was a heroic versus Amalia. And the heroic player would just play a pump spell on Amalia, the trigger before it got to 20, which puts it over 20 and then creates an unbounded loop and the game draws. So like the Amalia player could just like never actually win the game if they had a pump spell. They could only draw, which is hilarious. We draw Sam. Okay. We actually have most of the uh, this combo, but... Um, hmm. What do we want to do? Is it like Oven Bartholomew? Oven Roots? Don't think it's Amalia. Sam first, also kind of. I, mean, I could just like play Sam and a creature next turn. Must play the must play roots, but I'll, I'll just say go. All right, so we just say go. Um. Yeah, I mean whatever. Like, it's fine. So yeah, basically like Simon was saying that like we were talking about Simon afterwards and like in the timed rounds you can only play so many games but in top eight it's untimed. So like literally the heroic player couldn't beat the Amalia player. I'm sorry, the Amalia player couldn't beat the heroic player because they would just draw any game they were going to win for the most part. So like even if they were going to lose 10 games in a row they would all be draws for the most part. So Roots is interesting, yeah. Uh, I do feel like we're not doing enough with the Roots. Oh, it is cool that Deathrite Shaman and Luris both work with it also. We're going to brainstorm, sure. Uh, Spy Luris. Play land, so you go. Halfling's so good. Grease Fang was almost a non-factor at the Pro Tour. Snapcast a Mage. So they're going to Snapcast your discard spell, my Lurus. It's kind of annoying, but whatever, I guess. Sure. Jake Allen of the Devil. Is that a real one or a fake one? Sounds real. Untap. Another Amalia. All right. I guess. I mean, so we're going to play... Oh, it's so funny. This Kalani Guard's going to screw their mana up. Sure. Alright, so Amalia and Bartholomew. Kind of a motley crew here, honestly. Are they Bowmasters? Sure. This just doesn't do anything, so... Pump it up. Okay. So, we've got Amalia combo. They have Counterspell, obviously, though. So, we can just cord for Wild Breath Walker and then sack of food. Uh, that being said, obviously, we just can't do much. Yet. I can also just cord for a, a cat. Regardless, we need to like play around counterspell here, so we can't afford to cord basically until they tap out. So we'll just say go. Vampire buddies. 
Uro. So now they've given us window to cord. Awesome. So we'll just cord here. Cord for one. And we cord for one. We can... Let me think for a second. Um, if we Amalia combo, we just end up with a 20-20 in play. It's like not even that good, honestly. Because we're not going to kill him in one shot. If we get a, uh, a cat, a cat is really good, honestly. So, we'll just get a cat. There's no spell pierce. I guess I should have tapped creatures for this. That was stupid. Play on spell pierce. Whoops! Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. I should have killed him all in response, so it's fine. I should have killed Bartholomew, but... See what happens. Now we just have Oven plus Roots, which is like, a, a, you know, a really good engine anyway, so... In the tank, it resolves. Get called familiar. Drain for one. Gain a life, Amalia triggers. Death right Shaman to the bin. Do it all while they're not drawing a card, before they draw a card. Huh. Gain a life, trigger Amalia, trigger, trigger Roots, get a plant. Draw a Godless Shrine. Uro resolves. I think we're just a fair game out here. Draw with Uro. Take two. They have Counterspell up. We don't care, obviously, because we now just have our, our loop, so. Great time to remind y'all that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You're all great, and I uh, appreciate y'all. And, uh, a lot of big draws here, right? Uh, the Lighted Halfling is not one of them, but, okay, so, alright, we can do a Familiar Loop. I should have upkeep, ah, oh, stupid, I didn't even think about it. I should have upkeep the, uh, the cat, so I get a scry for the Amalia. That was a mistake. Okay, um, can I start there? Man, Loris is so good in this deck. Like, returning it with Sam, using all the mana we get from all of our plants and stuff is pretty sweet. Uh, second Oven does defend against Deathrite Shaman, sort of. I'm in. Get some beats on here too, right? Like, this is fine. Just stack. We're playing like the weirdest like mid range deck ever, but sure. Uh, don't want to stack anything Bartholomew. I think I do actually. Just like one of these halflings. Get an extra point. They have a push. Sure, that's fine. Alright, we just say go, I guess. They do have Shaman active now, so Shaman can uh, exile a call to familiar if we're not careful. Second like oven helps a ton. Playing some timeless. Alright. My cast says they just they just counter it. It's 
Snap Casta Mage. This is interesting. I think we actually just sack the Amalia to Oven to get, to get a food in play. Having multiple foods in play helps to uh, insulate our familiar against the Deathrite Shaman, so I'm just going to sack this. We got two foods, actually, so... How does Lurus interact with Mino Massacre? You can cast it for zero. You cannot cast an X spell for more than two. So, for example, Engineer Explosive, you can cast it for zero, one, or two at Lurus, but not anymore. So, this is that. Play New Amalia. I want this to resolve. We could try and bait a counter spell, but play this. I'm just gonna hold the oven. There's no point in playing the oven at this point. I'm just gonna get countered, so just say go. This is a really fun, a fun fair card. I kind of hate when like cards that are really fun fair cards, just like our shoehorn is combo cards. Conspicuous Snoop being another one, where it's like mostly just a combo card. You know, just really fun to play straight up. Getting hungry. Lunchtime. John's a hockey game today. Get to go skate. Got to coach the game, obviously, too. And then I need to decide if I'm going to go to SCG Philly or not. I don't know. I'm planning on going. I, I, I have a lot of friends going I haven't seen in a while, though, so, like, that's kind of fun. Gotta leave poor Nicole home alone, though. That's not that's not fun. I'm trying to take Cassian with him to still play. Here's an Uro, which is fine. Could crack a food. Just to get a scry on. I'm gonna do that. They very obviously have a counter spell on their hand, so. Sure. Cash okay, shot. Just say go. Having Shaman in play is kind of cool as well, so that works with uh, works with the roots too. So, I can fetch, go to ten, no graveyard. I have a graveyard now, but walk with me, sing with me. I will. Sack familiar. We're gonna have an elk oven. It's been a long game. Yep, that's fun. Oh dear. Bring this back. Or try to and see what happens. Resolves, triggers, roots, Amalia. Second roots. It's kind of gas. Sure. Block a cauldron familiar. Just gonna leave it in the bin with my uh, my food in play. Again, they have a, they definitely have counterspell on their hand, but. We have Shaman now to work with our uh, Roots. Our Roots are actually looking really good right now. We resolve second Roots. We just have like a bunch of plants coming. It's funny. Even if they successfully Shaman the Cauldron Familiar somehow, like we just get more plants, which is kind of cool. So, Demonic Tutor? Don't like that. What are they going to get, though? Nothing. All right. 
again, they have one counter spell mana up. Untap. Yeah, untap. Play Roots immediately. Just start there. I think Oven's more important than Roots is a little bit. I mean, not though. Here's a counter spell, sure. Now I play Oven. And then we just get to uh, jam on Oko and try and kill it. They're tapped off Shaman, too, so, like... They got, like, a Damnation or something like that. Like, it's fine, I think. We just have Familiar and Oven. Alright, Oko's dead. Cool. We could do this now. to just sack the thing and meet. I want to end the graveyard with a food and play. And we'll just say go, I guess, right? Give it up, man. Just a few things. Sure. Just say go. If they got, like, actual damnation, it's, like, fine. I mean, I guess they could Uro again. They could, like, damnation and Uro immediately, but whatever. We've got oven plus food plus roots plus familiar. If no, I can't do that. Uh, all right. What'd you get, friends? I guess they have the best card in their deck in their hand, in theory. If they have a wrath. There's no space to exile the aura. Oh, there's a detonation, right. Um, some other sweeper. Deadly cover-up would suck. Uh-oh. It's a brainstorm. All right, no, no bone master here, unfortunately. Deadly cover-up would be pretty good, because I would also exile my, uh, or exile something. Oh, my God. I'm going to clown college. Bitter triumph on death right shaman. Okay. Uh, just exile a random creature. How about a halfling? Sounds good to me. What's up, Killa? Roots, Amalia, familiar to the graveyard? Oh my god. That's awesome. I mean, like, sure? Like, so they legions end my plants, but like, that's a cool animation, but like, what, okay, so what, you know, so they still have shaman up, I can't just bring a familiar back though right now, because I gotta untap first, what's fine, so untap, draw heath, not a very good draw, um, we, I'm just gonna sack the halfling for food, I guess, yeah, that's fine. Med, reset up. Thanks so much. Just attack. Did they tutor for legions then? Maybe. It's a really weird one, but... Alright, don't block this thing. Sure. Take five. Five. Alright, just say go. Plan is to block with the high flying and then sacrifice it to the oven. This card is so freaking good. Like, it's just like, Birds of Paradise, Graveyard Hate card, Planeswalker, all for one mana. It's like ridiculous. BTM later? Nah. 
Today's just still constructed. John's hockey game at five today. I gotta go early and go to that. This has been quite the game. Like we are, we are roll, we are cruising along here. What's the reason to hold the heat instead of playing out to remove a land for your draws? Yeah, like deck fitting is the most overrated thing in all of Magic. Um, I'd rather have a card in my hand, and have opponent not know what it is, than extremely marginally increase my draws for the cost of one life. A second death right shaman sucks. That's not good. Um, all right, end step. Pop a familiar. Get a, get a explore on. All right, they're going to try and do this in response. This is the familiar that's coming back, so yeah, let's do this again. Trigger. Plant. Amalia token. Or Amalia thing, whatever. Yeah, that's better than a random card. Okay, sure. I mean, they probably have a counter spell, but whatever. You know what I'm gonna do? He has once upon a time. Oh man, Brick City. All right, I guess Halfling. Um, we get to attack here. Like this is a pretty good attack. Uh. Ugh. All right, Bowmasters targeting the halfling. I'm pretty sure we just sack this in response. So no orc for them, and then I get to uh, have a food in play. I can familiar in combat also. Okay. You have more stuff. Another. Oh my god. That's crappy. Uh, all right. I think we might have. Uh, they might have turned the corner here. Uh. Yeah. It's a weird block, right? Just face up. One card left. Non-active Death Rite Shaman. I mean, they're going to get my uh, one of my cats, but that's just like a, kind of a foregone conclusion at this point. So ship the extra roots because we're kind of done with that part of the game, I think. So... I kill all those things. I got no foods. I got a naked familiar. I'm fucking paused. I've been recording this entire game. Oh my god, Jim. What the fuck are you doing? Alright. Uh... Damn it. F's in chat for me, folks. They draw Snapcaster Mage. Okay. Targeting Legion's End. Okay. Oh my god. You know how hard it is to get your Cauldron Familiars hit by Legion's End? It's so hard. Like, but we managed to pull it off. Thanks for watching. Uh, we did get a, a plant out of, out of a deal. Which is All right. Draw another land? Come on. There's 20 lands in this deck. All right, so... I guess we just jam. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to edit it and fix it. This has been a pretty good game, so... Just jam. At the fourth Bowmasters? Oh my god. All right, sure. 
Some game. Would Kalani be guard be too good if I had forest typing? Way too good. It would be busted. It would just be a better dwarven line or whatever. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yes, this is fine? Yeah, sure. Alright. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Jubal, three up. Thanks so much. Read your article. Do you think they take action Monday? Uh, I don't know if they'll do it or not, but... As for Modern, I have no idea. I, I haven't followed Modern in a long time. I'm, I'm totally out of Modern, so... That's why I wasn't planning on going to the SG this weekend, but now I have a lot of friends going, so I might still go, but... Alright, make a food. Like, imagine fetching a Kalani Garden here, would be awesome. You gotta chill, alright? All Bowmasters, all Deathrite Shamans. I get it. I understand. Crack the food, surveil. Our own Bowmasters. That's better than a random card, right? Yeah, definitely. Alright, so keep that. Cast Bowmasters. Is there a last card of Counterspell? Who knows? Hit this. Attack for a bunch. I mean, it's funny how fair Molly has been pretty good this game. Dan, when are you guys going? I'm deciding. Are you leaving tonight or are you leaving tomorrow morning? What, what do you, what, what's your plan? Take three. Molly is dead. Get some foods. I mean... What are we drawing to at this point? I don't even know. I guess Sam would be good, right? We should return Lurse. On the fence about it. Okay. If I was going to go, I'd probably want to go tonight. And obviously we can all go to... I mean, I don't know how long I want to stay, though. I might just leave Saturday night. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll text you about it afterwards. All right. Time, time for deck fitting. We're in the deck fitting phase of the game. No timer super low. Jeez. Death of Shamans are brutal. Tonight makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind going at like 9 tonight. You know, just like, kind of skip the traffic, get in. So. Yeah, three, three active Shamans is pretty busted. Bowmasters. Uh, yeah, just face, I guess. Are there timeless decks that don't run Death Oath Shamans and Bowmasters? Not really. They're the best, probably the best two cards in the format. All right, uh, block. How many lands left? Maybe? I don't even know. Alright, get a land. Untap. Amalia's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Alright, so, uh. Let's attack for three. Alright, I guess just go. Like. Our, all of our familiars are gone, so we can't even, like, mill a familiar with, with the Amalia. We'd be kind of lucky if we had that, but we don't, so. This is only game two, also, which is insane.
And they keep like alternating between getting back creature hitting creatures and spells. Like just kill me, right? Why what are you getting life for? Alright, get a block here, unfortunately. Oh, I, 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 I have infinite blocks. That, that's that's funny. Uh Bowmash has infinite blockers on oh, That's hilarious, actually. Alright, cool. Not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snickers, folks. They have 23 cards left. Crack food. Explore. Halfling bin. I'm in. I'm all in. Just explore again. Oh yeah, Wildgrowth Walker. <laughs> You're gone too. This is the game that never ends. Draw land. Come on. Somebody's playing a prank on me. More deck fitting, please. If I didn't record this game, I'd go back and edit it. It's so annoying. Alright, so, uh... Here's Oko. Sure. Might be time to go to game three, actually. They're gonna elk my Bowmaster. Sure. Let's broaden your existence. Like, what are we even drawing to, honestly? Like, Sam for Loris, maybe? How about a land? Right, that's enough. Game three. That's fine. Uh, the Amalia plan didn't seem very good. And they have no graveyard hate, so we're going to go back on the sand plan completely. And uh, take out the Amalias, take out the, the Wild Growth Walkers, put the Familiar back in. We're just back to our main deck, I think. Uh, any thoughts on Fatal Push or Thoughtseize? I don't think so. We have like, a few push to kill Death Rites or Uros is kind of cool. Uh... Halfling's good because they have counterspell. Bowmaster's good to kill their bowmasters. Kind of like don't want to cut anything either. Yeah, just ship it. I'll just go. Commander Knights tomorrow, folks. Free to play in my Discord. Sure. Bunch of mulligans. They are down on clock. Once upon a time. It's gotta be a land. I don't think we have a choice here, honestly. So, just take the land. And cast ourselves a half. Let me just say go. They go land thought seeds. I guess that's kind of bad for us. We lose the oven. Ah, crap. I have push. It's very hard. Alright, cool. So, we go uh, land. Oven familiar. Next turn we have uh, Once Upon a Time Halfling. Gotta watch that Legion Zen, you know. They could. Oh, they got. Oh, they bow master. This is dumb. It's like fine, I guess, but yeah, this is a really obvious bowmaster. That was dumb. And now I have to get one more food to get it back again. <laughs> yes, but uh, 
Uh, so we draw our own Bowmaster, which is perfect. Perfect, literal perfect draw. Uh, Fay two, kill the Bowmaster, sack the Orc for food at some point. Play Halfling. All looking pretty good. Never punished, etc., etc. Longest game of all time, folks. Do 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 Demonic Tutor. All right, so we got a time walk here. That's awesome. Unlikely to be able to use this card now, so. Um, back today for that deck tech I was asking about yesterday. Glad to see your internet seems to be behaving a bit more today. Smile. Sounds good, Jaron. Put the link in chat, please. Do you have the match? Chord of freaking calling. Okay, so. Now we can cord for like Sam. Um, you yeah, know, once upon a time too. This might just be a say go turn, honestly. Yeah, just say go. Let's see what they do. Kind of an obvious core, but I can always just guess once upon a time instead. If I decide I'm, I'm scared of a counter spell. The maze. They bin a counter spell off the maze. They cast the brainstorm with an orcish bow masters in play. All right, I guess. Uh, all of that? Are you kidding me? We just played like an hour long match. For you to scoop because you played a brainstorm with a with a thing in oh my god. Ah! Waka waka. Alright, um <laughs> All that. All that. Alright, sure. Let's look at our untap real fast. Take a look at the uh the deck there. That was only match two. I'm done. I can't play another match that deck. Uh deck's pretty cool. Uh, definitely a little finicky. I would like the roots to be a little better, honestly. Um, I wonder if, like, how much sure. I don't know what the, the solution is. It's kind of cool. You can just combo, but the roots is pretty good grindy-wise. But again, like, I don't know. I'm not sure. Deck's cool. Deck's definitely cool, but I'm not sure what to do with it, uh, overall. But deck's sweet. So, YouTube folks, all you like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. And peace.